Hello, good day, and welcome back. So today we're gonna do our Linux setup, which is install all the tools and utilities we need with compiler and of course Visual Studio Editor for Linux. We're not gonna install plugins because um, that's something that's gonna be the same across platforms. So I'm gonna leave that for later. So some things might already be installed like Python, but it doesn't matter. We're going to install it anyway, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna try and install the package version for anything that I can find and then only go for a download if I can't find a package version. When it's a package one that's in the, the, the distributions repo. So if you're using something like Ubuntu, which is what I'm using here, you can find similar instruction if you're using another distribution that's based off of say Red Hat or SUSE Linux, you are comfortable with how to use that package manager. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to our video on Mac setup and use those link. I'm gonna jump over to the Git website and I can see the instruction is just telling me to install using the package version. And you could see um, for all the other Linux distributions, it's the same thing. That's pretty straightforward and easy. Now I'm gonna go and do Golang, and I could download Go here and install it, but instead I'm gonna search my distributions repository, and for Ubuntu, it's there. It's a little bit behind, it's 1.7 instead of 1.8.3, but I'm gonna just install that. The next thing I'm gonna do is Python. And again, I could download Python 3.6, but I'm gonna check my distribution package repository and it's there, so I'm gonna install it. Um, specifically, I want Python 3.6, so I just have to set my permission, but again, kick it off and it's good. Java is a little bit more tricky on Ubuntu, and that's because Ubuntu does not ship a link to Java um, Oracle's JDK, but rather they use like the Open JDK and so on. So we're gonna go on the web and do a search for installing, you know, Java Oracle JDK in Linux and click on this link and just copy those instructions and follow them and paste them. So I'm, you're not gonna see me paste them because hey, you can just copy and paste. So we're gonna speed through that. And I'm gonna copy, paste each one of those three instructions. And then at the bottom there it tells you that you should export said Java home. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna put this in my Etsy um, bash that bash RC, but really you should put it in Etsy profile. And so down at the end of your Etsy profile, you want to just paste this in. Uh, even though you see me putting it in bash Etsy bash dash bash RC, put it in Etsy profile. Next up is Scala. Again, I'm gonna search for Scala. It's available. I'm just gonna install the one that's in my repo. Um, of course, I have to give set the permission here, and that's installed. Groovy, similarly, just change from Scala to Groovy. That installation is fast and easy. Finally, I just wanna show you though, I'm gonna check search for Visual Studio and it's not in my package repo, so I'm gonna download that. And the installation of that is just gonna use dpkg and minus i for install and give it the Debian file. If you use an RPM based system, you'd use yum for downloading stuff from the internet, but then RPM for downloading things that's local. Now, when it comes to C++ tools, if I type G++, um, that's the compiler in Unix land for C++ code, you see I have it installed already. But if I didn't have it installed, this is the command that I would type. I'll type sudo apt-get install minus y and build essential. And that essential give me all the things I would need for building, that's my C++, C and C++ compilers. Now, again, if you want another distro, it might be different. So for yum, for example, that package is called, you'll have to do a group install, yum group install, and then in quotes, I think you have to put like development tool or something like that. I know it seems a little bit fast, but that's just how simple it is to install in Linux slash Unix. If we could have put all these commands, just type one command and got all seven of the tools or six of the tools installed, and then just had to download and install Visual Studio. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thumbs up this video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please, 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 please subscribe. If you were liking and following the series, please subscribe. Um, give me feedback. Um, and finally, um, of course, you know, tell other people about the, the, the site. Um, let's get more people here and continue what we're doing. Take care, have a great day. Let me know if you have any problems. If you run into problems like with your specific distro or something, let me know and then I can try and sort it out for you. Okay, see you, have a great day, good luck.